Hey, what's up, man? Plays Man Talk 24-7 here, breaking down my quarter scheme. And each year, since Madden 13, I post the best schemes I can post. I post the schemes I actually run. And that's just because people deserve nasty schemes, you know? I mean, this is a nasty scheme. If I didn't know this, I was talking to my boy. He was talking about how he still runs my pistol bunch shot in, but he doesn't run it right. So the same thing with the quarters, man. Same thing with all my defenses, you know? It's the same thing. I ran quarters two man under last year, but it's a lot of different adjustments. A lot of the same little adjustments I used to do last year don't work. I cover it in my guide. I go over what to do, what not to do. I can stop pretty much everything in this game. I know the weaknesses. I know the ins and outs of my defense. I'm not in 14 for a reason. I'm just, my average victory is what, like 14 points, averaging 30, giving up 16. So I obviously know what I'm doing. But let's start out with the basics. And that is how to put your dude in a purple. And what you want to do is just press A or X on PlayStation, then move the right analog stick to the right. To man up somebody, you hit A or X on PlayStation, hit the right stick up, and then select the wide receiver. And to shade your wide receiver, you hit Y or triangle on PlayStation, then you hit A or X on PlayStation, and then you select your wide receiver, and then the direction you want to shade them in. So I hope this defense helps you out. I break it down even more in my defensive guide. And I'm always giving out updates to both my offensive and defensive guys. I'm always trying to help people out. Now, it's a lot of adjustments, but this is the defense I run. All right, quarters one, three, seven, two man under. Now, this defense, I really like to use it because I know the ins and outs of the defense. So right here, basic, really no adjustments. And that's just an amazing user play. So that's one of my philosophies, and that's fool them into thinking they're actually open. Now, right there, the drag route got open. He got an easy nine yards. Again, crossing route got open. Now, right here, I double team the crossing routes. So I put the opposite side safety on both inside wide receivers so I can clutter up the middle. And then, really, all you have to worry about are the outside wide receivers and the tight end. Now, watch both crossing routes. Des Bryant double team, and I had McFadden double teamed also. So, really, all I have to account for is Jason Witten, who actually got a step. He actually got about a step, step and a half on me. So, again, double team, the middle is cluttered. He throws it to the outside. That's a one-on-one -on -one play. Sometimes you catch it, sometimes you don't. Now, this is one of the main reasons why I like playing quarters, and that's just because normal things don't work against it. That's really the simplest I can say. I mean, look at that. It's just a crossing route. If I was in 3-4, three, 4-3, four, four, three, basically anything else but quarters, he would have got around three to four steps wide open, and that's why a lot of people ask me questions. How do you play man? How do you play man? It's, I mean, it's some secret to some little tricks. But mainly, it's just playing quarters, calling two-man under. I'm going to show you. I'm going to break this down. You know, a lot of people have been asking me. I put it in my guide. I break it down even more in my guide, you know, if possible. So right here, let's say third down and two. I man up the inside wide receiver. And then I guard both crossing routes with my safety. Now, that type of defense... It does expose you deep, you know? You can get beat deep. But I make sure the crossing route does not get open from Snead, the inside wide receiver. And I leave Cooks and Colston one-on-one. -on -one. And right here, this is where I decide. I'm running through whoever's in front of my way, and I'm getting the pick. So if he throws it to the tight end, it's a pick. He throws it to the running back, it's a pick. I'm in between both of them, and I, I shove Benjamin Watson out the way. I shove whoever just tried to tackle me, and then I go in for a touchdown like someone's not hovering around my ankles. So it's really, once you decide, you have to decide what your weakness is. You have to know what the weaknesses of your defense is. Well, R. <laughs> now, right here, all I did right there, I just blitzed both middle linebackers. Now, I'm saying Barry Church, he's my safety. Now, I'm saying he's a middle linebacker. He's not. He's a safety. But right here, it's second and 13. I know he's going to pass it. 
so I blitz the crib, you know, really. My defense, it's a lot of adjustments. It's a lot of things I do on some plays I don't do on the other. But second and 13, I just shut down his run in the backfield. I know he's doing a play action. So I literally blitz around six or seven people. My tight end, not my tight end. The tight end is wide open, and the running back is going to be wide open. But my favorite saying, you can't throw it if you're on your back. So, yeah, you have a flat route wide open. The tight end's wide open. But you're on your back as soon as you try to make a throw. So it's really a high risk, high reward right here. I double team both outside wide receivers. I gamble on the tight end because I think the pressure is going to get there. But instead, I don't really blitz. You see two defenders just standing there spying Rodgers. So that's really a breakdown in knowing what type of defense I'm running. Because I played it like it was a real short down, which it was. It was four from four, really short. But I had no pressure. Now, right there, I double team Cobb. I used my safety to guard a two-yard flat route, <laughs> crossing route, and I left Joy Nelson completely wide open. Now, this time, I double team the opposite side wide receivers. I'm guarding the tight end. I leave the tight end to try to chase that route. Lost cause. I'm about 20 yards away. And he overthrows it. But it's a real tight throw. And right there, I put my corners in a purple zone. He ran some C routes. Nobody opened. And he had to take the sack. So it's really a lot of adjustments. Really a lot of adjustments right there. Whoa. <laughs> we actually play lockup defense. But guess what? I have no QB spot. So it's really a mind game. If you're playing someone who's good, it's going to be constant mind games. I did not trust my corners to lock up Joy Nelson or Cobb. But the time I don't trust him, they lock him completely up. Now, right here, that crossing route looks open. But if he would have thrown it, I'm driving down. So as soon as if he would have thrown his ball, I would have drove down, got the pick. I had the spy. I'm using the spy. And we make him throw the ball away. Now, this play is amazing. And that's just because this play is amazing. All right. Now, he runs a curl. But I have a safety on the opposite side of the field running over to guard the curl. So if he throws his curl, not only am I on it, but I also have a man running from the opposite side of the field to guard the curl. So I have about two guys, including me, sitting on the curl. That double move looks wide open, but I was sitting on it the entire time. So right here, it's a run. I'm in quarters. Dang, I can't stop the run. So he ran it for a five-yard game. Very, very easy. And if you want to stop the run, what I really like to do, I pinch my linebackers. And this is something you'll notice. If you have your linebackers pinch, you cannot press. If you press, you cannot have your linebackers pinch. So just something to have noted. I had Barry Church sitting right there in the gap. He decides not to make a tackle. No biggie, it's third and one. And right here, this is where I start dragging people over. Now, I blitz both middle linebackers. I'm using Barry Church as a middle linebacker. That's how I like to use him. And I'm using the safety, and I shoot the gap. So I have Barry Church in the backfield, and I'm using my safety on the left side in the backfield. And we make an easy tackle. Now here, fourth and two, I move all my defenders over to the right. I mean, look at the formation. It's going to be a run to the right. So I put them, not only am I blitzing them, I put one or two in a flat zone, and one of them made the play. So, all right, it's third down and six. Very, very tight coverage right there. So, now it's fourth down and six. I come out in quarters, two man under. Two man QB contained. And this formation, a lot of people like hitting C routes and corner routes. So, I put my safety, Barry Church. And I can break down this defense for hours, man. And my God, I break it down even longer. I put him in a pro zone. And I man up Fitzgerald, so I have him double teamed. So the people I have to watch for are getting beat deep, and I have to watch out for that running back. Now watch what I do. Horrible coverage. I tried to hold the receiver. I got beat, and he has him wide open. He has a receiver. I whiffed. I tried to hold him. I whiffed on both of them, and that dude's open. And the dude on the C route looks open. But I have a purple zone sitting right there waiting until he makes that throw. So really, you really have to know what does what. 
or else you're going to end up looking like this. <laughs> Double teaming a, a two-yard drag, leaving Jordy Nelson one-on-one, -on -one, and just awful. So, you know, that's not going to get it done. Now, right here, I blitz. I'm using Jordy Nelson deep. And we still go up a huge gain. So that's when you blitz. So that's why I really, this is just a 4-6 inside blitz. You know, nothing spectacular. But this is where a lot of people get the misconception of man defense this, man defense that. Look at that. That's just awful. It's just awful everywhere. Just look, just awful. Who am I using? And see, that's why. Boom. He's open by about 8 yards and 50-yard gains. That's when you blitz. Now, if you play quarters two man under, I'm really trying to tell you, it's a drastic difference. It's always been. Quarters two man under is always going to be the best man defense. So right here, I blitz six people. You know, I blitz everybody. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm blitzing everybody. So I pass commit so I don't fall for the play action. And then we get the easy sack. 11-yard loss. So it's second down and 21. And with this defense, you really can blitz and no one knows you're blitzing. You can stop the run easily. You just, this defense allows you to do so much. So right here, I'm triple team with Jordan Nelson. And sometimes I do this in real games. I, I would triple team the best wide receiver. I'm watching both crossing routes. Now that crossing route looks open, but I'm sitting on it the entire time. As soon as he throws it, should have been an easy interception. So really, this type of defense, I wish, you know, I could tell you, you know, type this, type in this cheat code, and boom. But it really requires a lot of effort right there. I double-team Randall Cobb. But if you see Wilcox, you know, that's why man coverage reigns matter. Where we just go run, manning up random safeties like Wilcox, and you see how he's been playing. That can happen. But it's fourth down and nine. It's fourth down and nine. I'm blitzing the dude originally supposed to guard James Jones. And I'm blitzing Barry Church inside. So really, the tight end is going to be wide open, and I really have to account for that. That's who's going to be wide open, the tight end. So instead of guarding the tight end, what do I do? I run straight to James Jones, the tight end wide open. But like I said, you can't throw the ball on your back. Now, I'm not saying this is perfect defense, not saying it's lockdown defense. What I'm saying is I'm showing you a lot of my adjustments and I'm showing you different scenarios. Now, fourth down and nine. All right, this is against the same opponent, different game. And instead of blitzing, at the last second, I man up Barry Church on James Jones. So everybody is double teamed on this play. And that's why. Look at that. Barry Church, the guy I man up at the absolute last second, comes to jar the ball loose because apparently three or four guys aren't enough. So it might look crazy. It might look extra, but it really does help. Right here, second and inches, and this is why I love this defense. The middle of the field is just so clogged. I mean, it's about three or four defenders. Pick whoever could have got that interception on that play. So I was breaking down two men under. Just a quick breakdown. I break down two men under even more in my defensive guide. Be sure to check that out in the description. And now I'm breaking down this play overload three seam. Now, a lot of people like DB strike. I like overload three seam. All I do on this play, I pinch my linebackers, and I use the safety on the left. Now, you want to make sure you have a cornerback who's fast on the blitz. And that just it helps in the run game. It just helps a lot. You know, when you have a fast cornerback shooting in, he can get past wide receivers and linemen. If you have someone slow... It really is not the same. Now here you see I having someone slow. Now coincidence maybe, but just so slow. He he ends up fighting off the block, so I'm giving him a lot of trouble. But you know, really, you want to make sure someone's fast right there. Now I don't like using this defense to stop the pass. It's strictly a run defense, and I do have to give credit where it's due, man. I have to give credit where it's due. This guy, forties and shorties. Always year in, year out, one of the best Madden players. Me and him, we always laugh a lot. He shows me some things. Mainly, he's showing me a lot of things, and I try to, you know, make myself useful. But I was trying to stop the tosses doing this, and obviously, that's not stopping any toss. But this guy, 40s, he tells me I have to move the corner over about two to three steps. Next thing you know, he runs the same toss. And he just shoots in in the backfield. So it's just small things like that. Like I said, something I show on my guide. 
I like showing you how not to run it so that you can see it. And I like to show you how to run it because everything's not perfect. Everything's not beautiful. You know, a lot of the time you're running around playing bad defense. And I like to show you how to fix these things. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I really hope this can help you out. As I said, I don't hold back on my schemes. I've been posting schemes since Madden 13. Always quality. Always what I actually run. And I just hope this can really help you out. So be sure to check out my defensive guide below in the description and my offensive guide. I hope this scheme helps you out. It's what I run in real games. If you have any questions, hit me up, email me, send me a message. You know, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching.